keep moving. Rain! Wow. Um, eek. <laughs> I hope I not just found a crevasse. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a pretty awesome spot up in the Chamonix Valley in the French Alps. This is where I spent the night last night, surrounded by snow in minus eight degrees. It wasn't that cold to be honest, got a nice sleeping bag and I kept toasty warm and waking up surrounded by snow, well that just made up for it. I'm on a bit of a mission today. I want to tick off the final bit of the box in the Chamonix Valley, meaning I wanted to get to the very northern point and do a little bit of car camping up there. I've got a couple of really cool looking spots to check out on the way and a couple of decent looking car camping spots up there. I do, however, need to head south a little bit to pick up a few supplies before we head north. So yeah, let's get the cribbles sorted and let's get on the road, mate. Freaking cheap over here for food and such, man. This came to 15 quid. Freaking rip off, dude. I think that kitchen roll was about four quid, man. Tries to buy the cheap one, but <sighs> it's all right. Like, I keep going to like car four, like rough rack, and I kind of know what to buy there, but this place, yeah, not a clue. And it was crap, man. Choice was very limited. Not impressed. Should not be coming here again. Right, let's keep moving. Here we go then, we're heading up to a little spot called La Tour. This is the highest resort or ski resort around the Chamonix Valley. And yeah, lately it's had the best conditions, if I'm honest. And I haven't got up here. <laughs> well, we take a look anyway. Looks like they've had a bit of a good dumping of snow recently. Since we're in the village and it's all piled high on the side of the roads. We haven't had any for a few days though. A little bit of a sprinkling last night, but nothing really to shout about not in the villages on the mountains they put about probably about a foot's worth of powder and look at it it's beautiful eh right here's the main ski area then you used to be able to camp out here for free and now it's 14 pound a night or something um mate this don't look good this is supposedly the way i'm going with the roads blocked what's that about parking complete what does that mean let's have a little look something going on up here like i say it used to be at part three up here but they've changed all that now seems like they're trying to get everybody by the short and curlies and just strap them for cash i won't play ball mate you can actually stay uh over the other side of this mountain at a place called val serene and then there's a lift that comes up to this ski area and yeah, I think you can still stay up there for free. So if I was going to snowboard up here, I think that's what I'd do. I'm not paying 14 pound a night to park my car and then pay 70 pound a day just to ski in the area. <sighs> Makes me angry, man. Especially with the snowboarding. Like I get it with the skiing, it's always been high side. But with the snowboarding, it came from the street and it should stay with the street. But the cost of it these days just makes that impossible. Ah, okay. Well, this looks like it. All this area around here and a bit further up. And it looks like if you're here early or late, you'd probably get a spot up there. I think you'd be all right. It's not flat, but it is doable. Be a bit noisy in the morning with the skiers and snowboarders though, eh? But boom, here's the area, man. A lot all. Okay, yeah, this is pretty cool. I don't know what the science is over there. One of Avalanche, I think, but. Yeah, this is kind of the overflow car park. Definitely. It's doable. Beautiful area. Right on the edge of the village as well. Hmm, tempting. I think we can go bumble around. And if we want to park up here, we come back about six o'clock. 
Well, Goyne's only a few clicks up the road anyway, so. Mate, I was just checking back to the car. Look at these buildings in this village, man. These are proper, proper old school. Proper old school stones with big old chocks of wood on top, man. Wicked. They kind of remind me a little bit. Not really. They're kind of a tyre style. They do a similar thing. Sometimes they have brick on the bottom and wood on the top, eh? But these are proper, man. A true Alpine village in the French Alps, man. We're blessed to be here, man. It's good vibes. Let's get over to a spot where we can stretch your legs, eh? Whoa. And hopefully not slip on our ass. Oh man, we're on a proper mountainous road now. Switchbacks and everything. It's even got snow gates on this thing. Wow. <laughs> I really hope it don't snow tonight. If we're up here, oof. It's a nightmare getting back. <laughs> the only other way out of here is through the border into Switzerland. Oh, I don't fancy that. I've got to say it though, truly stunning area to be driving around in. A little bit unnerving. Don't want to get lost and such, but yeah, stunning, mate. There's a serious lack of vehicles on this road though. That's a bit disconcerting. <laughs> Game on. We're here. Sweet. Another chock of bloody snow. This should be an alright spot for an overnight on. Oh my day. Look at the state of this place. This is amazing. Wow. So high up in the valley now. Literally, I think Switzerland borders about four miles away or possibly even less. But uh, yeah, a bit of a nightmare, if I'm honest. You see, about a week ago, I was down in Lazouche, which is about 20 miles away from here, a lot further down in the valley and a lot less snow. And I went looking for snowshoes because I wanted to do a bit of snow hiking with the snowshoes. Didn't need them down there. All the trails are just bare and there's not much snow. This one, however, yeah, is completely covered in snow. It would have been the perfect day to get the snowshoes out and give them a proper test. Not that I've got any, I was going to rent some, but so I'm going to hold my hands up. I'm not too sure how far around this trail I'm actually going to get. It's only supposed to be 0.8 miles, but I can't even see where it goes. It's supposed to cut up across here somewhere, but could be hard work, couldn't it? Yeah, let's see how we go. It is an official one, though. It's called Cynthia Botanic or something. And yeah, we've even got boards up for it, so it must be pretty popular in the right time. But, uh, oh, mate. Trolls in through snow. Yo. It's really crispy as well. <laughs> Fresh pal. Should have bought a snowboard. Whoa. It's uh it's fluffy and quite deep. This feels wicked this trail. Proper snowshoe trail. A little river that I've got across and such. I really hope. Oh Christ it holds. Yeah it does. Barmer. Luckily, looks like somebody's walked here before, or a few people, could have been towing a sledge as well. My tracking skills are telling me. Gotta say though, this is damn cool. Being out to find a trail out here that's kind of doable. Ah, I said it in a previous episode, well, I didn't think it'd be possible with the conditions the way they are, but hey ho man, we get to bumble around and check out these insane views. Gotta say though, it does feel like there's a little bit less oxygen up here. I guess I'm up at near 2,000 2, metres now, about 6,500 foot, eh? It's nothing major, but yeah, with the way my body's feeling at the minute, yeah, I'm panting a little bit here and there. Made me think the other day, actually, because I was looking at the Mont Blanc, and Mont Blanc sits at 4,800 metres, and it reminded me, like, the trail I did in Nepal, which goes around the Annapurnas, there's, like, a pass at the top, and that sits at 6,000 metres. Just to put it into some sort of context, like the effort to get to the top of Mont Blanc at 4'8", and we were hiking at 6,000. Pretty damn impressive. I think it's about 5873 or something. I think it's called the Throng La Pass. But yeah, back in the day, when it was a proper hiking trail, I think they made a road around the bloody thing by now. Gotta say though, this is really cool, but every now and again, you put your foot wrong and boom oh my god just did it by accident but yeah see what i mean it's deep snow here definitely want snowshoes <sighs> keep moving rain wow um <laughs> <eek. laughs> i hope i not just found a crevasse dude 
Oh, it's like Scotland bogs, but oh, bloody French Alps snow. Oh my days. Oh, Ooh, nearly got my foot stuck. Dude, this is precarious. Yes. <laughs> I'm not keen on this bit. <laughs> Nightmare. I end up waist deep in bloody snow digging myself out. Crikey. Oh man, check it out. Another helicopter. See them all day, every day, mate. Somebody's obviously broke themselves on the mountain somewhere. <laughs> As I say, and I pull the camera up and pull my muscle again, or whatever it is. It's so easy, man, it really is. It's an Oculus. I've seen people like, literally just twist coming off the ski lift and such, and that's it, they broke a hip or shoulder or collarbone or whatever. Like literally just a stupid little fall, same like me. And then obviously you get your big ones. I do remember years ago in Austria, I might have told the tale before, went out with some friends that were working the chalet where I was staying and one girl, she fell in Oculus here, it wasn't a big fall. And uh, I think she broke her femur. And oh my God, she was in pain. And they gave her so much morphine that in the end she was laughing as they lifted her off into the helicopter. But yeah, there we were on the piece with the helicopter coming in and it's full on, man. I don't mess about. But and it happens a lot, you know, every day. Anyway, I think we're getting down to where we're gonna cut over and cut back up. It looks steep on the other side. Let's see how we go. Ah, we've stopped for a pit stop. Check this out, look. Got all park benches and stuff here. Absolutely dumped in snow. But no, I'm gonna make an executive decision. I've seen a few people go up the trail and they've all got snowshoes on and it's looking a bit deep. Gets like knee deep, ankle deep. It's gonna be hard work. So I'm gonna cut up the road and go back to the crib that way and then take it from there. I think these trails around here need snowshoes, but we'll have a look at the next one and see what's what. Well, don't know what's going on here. I've just got back to the crib and there's gendarme. A lot of police everywhere. Look at this. One part's up over there. They're all different as well. Look at this little thing. I don't know what that is. Look. Gardi Champy Tree or something. They're all different. Oh, that might be Italian. Oh, yeah. I don't know. No idea. A oh, big, I don't know, van type one. And then one dude tra with a trailer as well. They've all got some sort of. It seems like they've got a training thing going on over the way. I don't know what it is, but mad, eh? It's first, first time I've really seen any uh, police in the whole trip. And they've all parked next to me. Let's make a move. Well, I'll tell you what, this sucks. There's absolutely no phone signal around here. I've got it on Roman. It's supposed to be kicking into any, any signal it can find, but yeah, it's bloody struggling. Oh, nightmare. It's just kicked in. Oh crap, I think we've just passed our turn. Uh, yeah, this is us here, where this barrier is. What the heck? Oh, this is not good. Gotta stop. Oh wait, this might work. Ah, okay, this is all a bit mad. I've just been checking the sat nav, see where we are, what's what. Da -da -da. We're miles from where I need to be. So they've got the snow gate there, and if that gets like avalanched in or snowed in, there's a tunnel over there that goes through the mountain. I don't know where it cuts through to, but that's mad, isn't it? So they're still accessible down into Chamonix, even if this is snowed out. I think I've just seen a flake of snow. Right, let's keep moving. I think what I'm looking for is a little bit further down the road. Right, let's have a quick little peruse around this area. This is actually an official parking spot for the night. It's free parking. I don't know, it's just down in a little village called Boetz, which is still about three kilometers from Val Serene, but I think it'd be a goer for the night. I can see myself parked up out of the way in the corner. It'd do me, mate, not a bad little view as well. It is also the start of the official trail for the Cascade, or rather the waterfall, but yeah, that's what I want to have a look at. Ah, uh, well, here it is, the head of the trail to the waterfall. It says it's about 20 minutes, half an hour up there. It's covered in snow and it looks kind of feasible. What I would like to do with snowshoes. I think I might save it for another day and instead sort out a bit of lunch in the crib and then maybe have a meander around and see what we can find for an overnighting spot. This is all right, but I'd like to see what else is available. Right, sneak a bit of lunch in them and a baguette to go with it. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use up like the last bits of the meat and such that Petra 
Geezer and Lazus gave me um, because some of it's going out of date ish. And to go with it, we've got a plate with, yeah, butter. Finally, treat myself. Um, oh, some smelly cheese. And what looks like beef slices, they're out of date in like July, so should be good with that. Um, one more thing. Sneak a bit of mayo in a squeezy tube. I don't know why it's like that, but it was cheaper than all the rest. Boom sign. A proper French baguette. Oh! Just pulled my chest again. Smacking it down. I don't know what it is. I think I might be calling the insurance tonight or tomorrow and uh, maybe popping down the hospital in the next few days. Just to be sure. Just to know what it is. It's been nearly a week and yeah, it seems to be getting a bit worse rather than better. Anyway, let's munch up. Right, belly's feeling pretty full. That beef was actually pretty good. I think I'm going to head straight down to Val Serene now. There's three spots to check out there. One near the ski lift area and two off in some sort of like country roads near some farmland. Hopefully we can get to them. I don't know. Let's just go down there and have a look. Super short and sweet then, four minute down the road, and um, yeah, this is it, apparently. Somewhere here. Take your spot. I mean, I guess it'd be all right. They're saying around to the left a little bit. Oh man, all the cars got tickets. Looks like you got to pay around here. I didn't see any pay on display. Let's be quick. All right, game on. The local ski shop, don't you know? At least, I think it might be. Oh, it looks like we're game on. This guy's got one or two rackets that we might be able to rent. Pretty cheap as well, five euros for a day. Uh, four hours, so that'll do us if we get a rig along. Yeah, wow, so pretty good fit. They're pretty tasty. Apparently this is how you walk when you're going uphill. It's giving me all the instructions, so I'll go over it on another, another day. But yeah, we're good to go, mate. These are what we want for tomorrow. Happy days. Oh, wicked mate. Rackets or rather snowshoes sorted for tomorrow, five euros. Right, two spots to check. Both a little bit out of the way. Definitely can't stay here. I spoke to that geezer and yeah, you got paid to stay here, so let's move. Damn. Looks like we're going down the back side of the village where all the construction work and thatches and I don't know, warehouse bits are. This looks a bit random. Good though, out of the way. That's what we want. Happy days. Not really. Like everywhere is just a few hundred meters. This is literally 400 meters from the last spot. It's a bit random. No way, it's next to a church. Oh, a graveyard, big old graveyard, man. Oh, no way. Oh, wait. Oh, this Your is it. Is on the left. Dude, this is sweet. I like this. I like it already. P -p 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 Parking. And to spin it round, though I actually thought it had a view, but it's so steep, it's just trees. One more around the corner, let's go take a look. Fraggle, that spot's there, and this spot's here apparently. Oh, this is mad. Where is it? Oh, God. Going through the church now. Oh, now. It's supposed to be a field. Oh, this is it here, look. Oh, hey. Yeah, mate. Yeah, mate. Oh, no. Oh, no. Absolute freaking bog fest. Shit, no. Oh, my God. I could actually get bogged down here and stuck. Let's get the hell out of this little spot. Keep moving, momentum is key. Oh my God. Look at the state of the mud. Let's get the frag out of here. Oh, I don't know, it is a legend of a spot though. Oh, hang on. It's a little bit more out of the way as well. It's a bloody bog fest though. I don't know, hang on, let me see if I can back up. Gotta be honest, I think we found the spot. Don't worry about the mess out here, we'll deal with that. It's a little bit frozen, that was me thinking, because there's snow. So it might not be too boggy, but boom, it's got the view all around. Look at this spot, this is wicked. That one's like literally just down there, but it just doesn't seem to have quite the view. But this one's kicking out. Oh mate, wild, wild horses, probably not, but horses. Ah, it's nice, real nice. When you haul up the last spot of the day and it's a winner. Wicked mate. Right. I need to find where the toilet is. I'm gagging and then get the kettle on for a brew. Boom, mate. Oh, I 
spots out the way as well a little bit, do you know what I mean? So difficult to find spots out the way in the Chamonix Valley. Everything's bloody in town, and if it's not in town, it's on the main bleeding road, so you just got passing traffic and all the rest of it. I don't know, it's legal to wild camp over here, but I just don't want to bother, man. I want to be able to chill out and not have anyone bother me all night. Yeah, I think this is the spot for it, man. Stoked. Oh, I was just wondering, you know, if we can actually get in this church. It's looking like we can. Let's just have a little look at it while we're here, eh? It actually looks like someone's just gone in here, so I don't want to disturb anybody. But hello. Oh, bonjour. It's okay for look. Yes, yes, yes. Ah, okay. Really beautiful. Wow, all cream and doled out. This is pretty spectacular. I hadn't realised. I thought it was a bit of a sort of a an old church that was just at the end of the village, but yeah, I think we'll get out of there. There's a few people. I don't want to disturb people. It's beautiful though. Really? Oh, bonjour, bonjour. Ah. Hello, bonjour. Oh, it looks like there might be a bit of a service coming or something. Wow. And then the graveyard round the way. I wonder how old some of those stones are. I'd say pretty old, to be honest. I hadn't expected it to be an active church, eh? Wow. Oh, man. Time for some munchies, then. I've got to be honest, I'm absolutely famished. I mean, I'm not, because that'd be ridiculous, wouldn't it? It'd be like weeks out in the desert or something starving. But no, I'm not. I am pretty hungry, though. I don't know why. I've ate today. I've done all right. But hey, hey. Let's bring out the bling in terms of tonight's proceedings. What's going on there? That's got ice on the bottom of it. That's a bit random. Can't be that cold in there. Oh, but anyway, yeah, these bloody pastry things. I wanted proper cordon bleus, man. Like chicken wrap battered with cheese and ham in the middle, but yeah, evidently they didn't have it now. But we have still got this. It needs using up. It's mashed potato. Creamy stuff. I can't remember how I did it before. Oh, that's a bit of a pain in the butt. Oh well. Ah. Uh, okay. Google Translate tells me. Oh, this is a bit random, man. We've got to put them over a low heat for 10 to 12 minutes with a hazelnut of butter in the pan. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be. Uh, just a knob, I think. Or if they're frozen, or defrost them in the microwave and then cook them for four to five minutes with a hazelnut of butter. How does that make freaking sense that you cook them less if they're frozen? This is not going to work. 12 minutes. Oh, you've got to be having a giraffe, mate. Golden Bennett, three minutes is up. Let's check them. Oh, crud. Oh, they're looking a bit black. I reckon these are only going to take four or five minutes. Right, I'm going to do something absolutely wild and crazy while they're still cooking. I'm going to prep and I'm going to get ready with the mashed potato. Oh, my days, this don't look great. I have actually had one of these already, but... Oh, my God, it's dripping, dude. Yeah, I hope that didn't just drip on me bed. I think it did. Oh, crud. Yeah, it did. Yeah, legend. Oh, crap. These look like they're burning. I think we'll call that. Oh, my God, they are. I can smell it. I can smell burning. They're done. I'm having it. Oh, mama. Right, on with the old... Uh... Oh, legs gone again. On with the old... Uh... Yeah. Mashed potato. God, blimey, it's hot in here. Sweat me chunga off, mate. And I'm naked from the waist down. Not. Oh no. It's blowing him. Uh, it's just a weird congealed lump. I don't get it, man. It does work though, and they do taste good. I'm not cold though. They really are minging cold. Ah, oh, look at it. It's actually turning into mashed potato now. How cool is this? I have found the powder stuff now, but I hadn't when I bought this. This is pretty good. What the pan's clean off the pan there. You know. Right, I'm calling it and I'm saying these are ready. Oh my days. It's just slopped out. That's mad. Weird consistency. Ah, and they are hot. Right, genius little moment. And this one's twofold. God and peas. Ah, if I can get them open. Ah, uh, tastes good. And hopefully, they'll help to clean that pan. In the go. Oh, crud, I didn't want to use them all. Don't spill, don't spill, don't spill. Just save a little bit of the juice in there. Oh, no. Well, 
the meal served. I can tell you though, I didn't do a bloody thing in terms of cleaning that pan then piece. Just made it worse. Gutted. But I've got to say it. I think that's the first proper meal I've cooked since I got here that wasn't like pre-made or something. Wicked. I'm starving. I'm gonna munch it. Blah. Munch it even, if I can speak. And I'll catch you guys in the morning. I hope this spot's all right. Got a bit of a weird feeling about it. Don't know. It's a very busy car park. I can't believe it. Sat here all night and there was like five or six cars pulled in. Must have been doing some at church. Another car's just pulled in there. It's about eight o'clock at night now. They went off for a walk with a torch. It's it's a busy car park. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Starting the day off as a means to carry on with the good stuff, don't you know, and the good vibe. Yeah, man, another cheesy toaster. I wish I got something else, actually, but hey-ho, that's what we've got. I tell you what, though, a bit of a weird random night of sleep last night. I must have woke up about six times last night. A couple of times for a pee, struggled to get sleep, and then just kept waking up, sweating me chungle off. I really need to find a shower in the next couple of days. It's been a few days already. Another thing as well. Yeah, the rib or the muscle or whatever it is, feels mildly better today. I took a painkiller last night, an ibuprofen or whatever they're called, and I don't ever take painkillers. So when I do take one, they actually work. And to be honest, I sat here last night and I felt like a new man. So what I'm thinking is, I might give it another couple of days, try and get some better painkillers, and then head up on the mountain for one last day snowboarding before I head out of this valley and towards my next destination. We'll see how we go and we'll take it day by day. But for now, I think this is probably gonna be the best point to end this episode. What an amazing spot we found last night. Really sight to have found this. This is probably my best favorite location that I've found on the trip so far. Just a little bit out of the way, beautiful views and no bugger around. Hopefully today I'm gonna to go grab them snowshoes and have a little chundle around on some trails. But as I said, this is gonna be the best point to end the episode. If you enjoyed it, all the good stuff, hit the like button, subscribe to keep up with the series and definitely hit me in the comments. And as always, you know, you know, whatever you're getting up to, take it easy, enjoy the camp and stay stealthy, mate. Boom, the French Alps. Switzerland's only over there.